600 seconds at Hollow Art. All right. I am the guest host. You can also find me at Wifey Things on Instagram. Now, tonight we have the lovely Tonya Jackson, AKA Lady Ice. Yeah. Hi, y'all. Now, I hear you are an author, a comedian, and an entrepreneur. I am. I so, am. why don't you just tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, okay. Well, as you know, my name is Tanya, but that's the government name. Don't nobody ask me that shit no more. Because the name is Lady Ice, and that's what I prefer to go by. Um, I'm 53. I'm a mother of many, but I have one biological, and all his kid friends is in the band. I'm the mother of, so I'm I that feel mother. That. I definitely feel that. <laughs> I'm that mother. So when y'all hear that music, crunk you up, you know, mom, it be like, yeah, baby. <laughs> But um, I, I came about who I am from many changes in life, you know, going through the who, who I want to be, who I, how I fit in. And, you know, sometimes it's hard growing up being a little chunky kid and, you know, you're trying to fit in with all the skinny people. And it's like, yeah, what to do, you know? So I was just in and out, and, but I've always went home. I have come from a two-parent home, you know, so, but that don't mean nothing. It means everything. Now tell me, um, what inspires you to start writing? Um, life. Life inspires me. People inspire me. Um, being a human being, being kind. You know what I'm saying? If, when you're kind to others, it, it inspires a chain reaction. You know what I'm saying? And then when you love and you just kind and you, you got that aura, like you sitting in the presence, you're like, I can just laugh right now because I'm fun, and it's like I feel that presence of love, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's a, I'm high here I am. It's like I'm not a threat to you, so why are you running from me when I'm not a threat a, to a you? bigger than life You understand what I'm saying? Exactly. Right, that part. Mm -hmm. So, and I just became, you know, when I was 16, I ran across jail, and I ain't gonna tell no lie. When I went to jail for my first time, it's because I beat her half up. Having to left the half the dead, but we was another story, which is why when I was in jail, how I got inspired, I was sitting there, I was like, well, shit, this might be my last time. <laughs> Let me go and write some poems out <laughs> and write this down. But when they called my name, it was time for me to release. I was like, yeah! I thought, <laughs> now, I just, now, I was going to ask you, you know, what was your biggest influence? But I think you just told me it was jail, <laughs> so I want to make sure I'm clear. No, nah, okay. it wasn't. It was the fact that I was, <laughs> yo, you got to tell many a jokes in you jail. You never know. You know what I'm saying? Because I knew I was getting out. And you thought the men was having a hard time. I was messing around with somebody named Bertha. I was like, ooh, wait a minute, hold on. Did you see the cat and the dog? <laughs> well, no, because I want you to keep your mind off my cat. Because I'm going to tell you the joke. So you can laugh all night. <laughs> So I'm getting from that you like the 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 reaction that you get from people I, when you I tell did. the jokes. I did. It was it was an awesome reaction. You know, I'm, I I like the LGBT. You know, sometimes you just can't get with me. Sometimes <laughs> all the time, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just there. Yeah, you in jail, right? <laughs> Big Bertha and Booth. <laughs> you gotta I, roll what you got. You know. Yeah. So I was writing, and so but when I got ready to get out. Just the fact of sitting there, just seeing how my life was evolving and seeing that I know I got a mama and a daddy, and I knew that was the point, just pressing for them. So I was like, hold on. Now, tell us a little bit about uh, other people's hands. Is that something that you wrote while you were in jail? No. Or did you do that outside of it? <laughs> Ooh, girl. <laughs> other people's hands came about after jail. And, um... Other people's hands is like what we do every day. You know what I'm saying? When we're born, we're born into other people's hands. 
and then were transferred from those hands to the birth to the mother. And then after the mother gets tired of looking at us, the nurse gets us. We're in other people's hands all the time. So sometimes as you grow, you decide some people's hands are not the best hands for you to be in. Because there's touchy-feely hands, hands that are unprotective. You know what I'm saying? They're not smooth, but they're smooth, but they're taking you from what you got, which is yourself. Taking advantage of you. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So other people's hands was just that emotional thing because we go through it all the time. And that's my life. And the story, there's <laughs> some shit in that book that um, I might have to change some names. <laughs> Is this book sort of a testimony to your life? It's, or yeah. is, it a, is it, you know, is it a fictional character? It's, it's a testimony of my life um, and start stories of how you were, if this was you in this story. It gives you a beginning and a, a middle and an end. It tells you how to re, re-rectify it and fix it. It tells you how you can get a relationship with God because sometimes that's all you need. Is God. You know what I'm saying? When you lose your connection with the one that gives you life, now you got to go and rebuild that connection and that bridge with God so that you can be elevated to the next level. And that's all that is, is about other people's hands, which is God's hands, the number one hands that we need to be in. That's right. Now, what are the challenges that you face when writing this book? Whew. Coming up with ways are not implementing a lot of people. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. You're trying to keep some people out of jail. Wait a second. (laughs) No, no, they gonna know it's them. They gonna know it's them if I put the big, if I say little dick, they gonna know it's him. You have to write and go around some things. So I was like, okay. Little Bob Pete. (laughs) Yeah, that was my most challenging. So now I'm like, I went, I'm at, at 92 pages of my book. And then I just realized, I say, what makes a good book? How many pages makes a good book? So I realized, I was like, all right, fine. We're going to make this do. We're going to go 94, maybe 108 pages. So that's what we're going to do. Right then. Okay. Now we play a little game called word association. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to give you a word. You're going to tell me what it means. All, all right. right. And what do you see? How does it make you feel? Uh, the first word is reality. Ooh, life. And the reason being because we live it every day and it's real. The things that we see on TV are not real. Life is real. You get one. You don't get to come back. So you live this to the fullest as if it was your very last. So you take it and take charge and live your life and tap into who God wants you to be, and not who every else wants you to be, but who God wants you to be. That's the best way to be. That's okay, it. Then. Now, we're going to go ahead and get a question from the audience. All right. So he's asking, he said he's noticed you on stage and how you bring comedy into your life. Um, how are you doing this with your book? Um, great question. I don't have a damn answer, but great question. Um, <laughs> You don't know, you say nothing at all. Okay. Right, but um, to bring my book into it is to just to do a relevance of a turn play of who I am and just put, put a spin on it. Because every down moment has an up moment, so you just make it happen, that's all. Right, that's right. Now, uh, tell us about any upcoming events or projects you um, have. I'm getting ready to do a movie with Dust House Films. Um, whoop, whoop. Yeah, shout okay, out to them. Um, <laughs> I'm going to play this little old lady, so y'all be watching for the little old lady. That's all I know. Um, I'm for sure it's coming out next year, so we're doing the process of the filming now. And then you can all find me on Instagram, Facebook, Big O Live. Um, what else? Y'all know the other one. What's that? TikTok. TikTok. Yeah, that's it. TikTok. Yeah, TikTok. Yeah, so that's where y'all can find me at. And that's about it. Yeah. Fiction or nonfiction? What's your all time favorite? Fiction? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you why I say it like that. Because see, when I was growing up, fiction was real, nonfiction wasn't real. 
So now it's like nonfiction is real and fiction is not real. I say y'all some bullshit. Y'all be lying. Y'all done switch it up on Y'all done did the bamboo. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And some confused. <laughs> <laughs> confused. All right then. So if you could work with one creative, dead or alive, who would that be? <clears throat> My one creator, dead or alive. Mahalia Jackson. Mahalia Jackson. Mahalia Jackson. Okay. Okay. You like a little scat, a little jazz in your <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yes. I love me some Mahalia now. Now, do you have any advice for anyone who wants to write a book? Um, be honest. Be true. Tra- tap into what it is that you want to tap to and make sure that it's something that you know somebody's going to want to read. You know, if they're not ready to read it right now, it might be later on that you but just write it down. Just whatever it is that you got in your mind, if it's in a book, write it down. Whatever it is that you got to write down, write it down. But keep it personal so don't nobody else steal it. You know what I'm saying? Because you got copycatters out here who won't take your stuff. And, you know, you just write it down and keep it close to you and always remember and keep it in your head. And But just tap into who you want to tap into and be who you are naturally. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Because when you be you, can't nobody run up and say that that's not you at the end of the day because you know who you are. Who you are. You can't correct. Ain't no duplicates, baby. You understand? So when you come correct, that's all you got to do. That's right. Be correct and that's it and that's all. Won't have no problems. They don't want no smoke. Mm. All right. So can you tell the audience how we can follow and support you? Well, you all can follow me on Facebook at Tanya Government Name Jackson. (laughs) A.K.A. Um, Lady Aisha. <laughs> <laughs> and you can follow me on Instagram at Lady Ice, uh, Lady Ice Nails, for real. Um, TikTok is Lady Ice, for real. Oh, this is either going to be Lady Ice or Tanya Jackson, so it's going to be, you'll see this sexy little face. Y'all don't see me doing stuff, making y'all laugh. I feel like I'm being interrogated, God dog it. 48 hours of bad memories about to happen. <laughs> you got something we want. Man. You understand what I'm saying? Why did really Ricky kill the dog? I don't know why little Ricky killed the dog. All right. So do you have any final shout outs for anyone? Um, I'm going to give a shout out to Hilo Arts, whoop, whoop, my boy whoop, whoop, Dirty whoop, whoop. D for being such an amazing friend. Um, my first and true shout out is to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who puts everything in my life. So that's my shout out. All right, you guys, that is 600 seconds with Hollow Arts. Woo! Big up. <laughs> How the hell are y'all doing tonight? Y'all don't look too goddamn mad. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Fat black people. Well, anyway, my name is Lady I and I want to just give you all a touch of my book that's coming out. And it is dedicated to my son, Tyler Delano Jackson And he is my miracle on earth, and he is the very reason why I live and I breathe, so I thank my son for giving me life. Basically, my book, Other People Hands, is a, a story about me, and you, and our situations, and the things that we go through in life. So just to read you a little bit, I'm just going to go into where I can read right here. It says, hands to God and hands to mold us into who we are today. And that is coming from 1960s to now. But even though times have changed, there will always be other people's hands as long as life remains on this earth. Other people's hands will always exist till the end of time. I was blessed to have both of my grandmothers in my life, Emma and Ella B, both my fathers and my mother was my father's mother, and she was like no other. She was the lead of her, she was in a league of her own, and she was my grandfather's, and my father, no, no, and my grandfather, Samuel L. Jackson, yes, the famous Samuel L. Jackson, is my uncle. Um, he had five children, which is on my father's side, and my father is a baby, but Samuel Jackson, the actor, was conceived by another mother, but my grandfather. So we don't really speak to Samuel, but we know 
that he exists. So, but to say that is to say this. We're all connected, no matter what we is, no matter who we are, no matter where we are. We're connected as a part of life. Because our Father gives us everything that we're supposed to have. He gives us life, He gives us breath. His blood flows through our veins on a regular. So we got to give the praise and give the glory. Because without his hands, we would never be here. So I just want to say thank you for God's hands to bless me, to bless you, to bless everybody. In the name of Jesus, amen.